Welcome to the video USP645 Conductivity Measurement in Automation Mode. USP645 describes conductivity measurement in different water samples in three stages that can be automated, as we did in our case with bulk water. Our setup consists of 7 excellence with pH and conductivity expansion unit, lab X for the automation part, in motion with a water bath, overhead stirrer, conductivity sensor in lab 741 ism and ph sensor in lab pure pro ism for new sensors or ones not used for a long time we recommend conditioning the sensor for at least 30 minutes in deionized water the lab x method for usp645 is built in lab x with the three stages that must be performed sequentially in case of a failed sample result stage one Stage 1 requires determining the conductivity of water without temperature correction. As the in-lab 741 ism sensor has a certified cell constant, we do not need to calibrate it. Only verification in 84 microsiemens per centimeter standard is required. The reading must be within plus or minus 2% of the real conductivity value stated in the solution certificate of the specific lot. As we are using the automated workflow, the comparison with the buffer table is done automatically in the system. After passing the verification, we can start measuring samples. In order to be compliant with USP645, the conductivity limit should not exceed 1.3 microsiemens per centimeter at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Using the water bath, we can maintain a constant temperature. The in-motion will automatically move from sample to sample, and power shower cleans the conductivity sensor before the next measurement. In our case, four samples passed the USP645 criteria, and one sample value exceeded it, so in the LabX software, you can easily see that the sample failed. With this failed one, we move to the next stage. Stage 2 Stage 2 requires a continuous conductivity measurement at a stable temperature of 25 plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. While maintaining the temperature, we stir the sample and observe the change in conductivity. Once the sample reaches the phase where the change in conductivity is less than 0.1 microsiemens per centimeter per 5 minutes, LabX evaluates the conductivity value. This value is reached when the sample is saturated with air by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. In case the new conductivity reading does not exceed 2.1 microsiemens per centimeter, the test meets the requirement of stage 2. If the sample fails, then we proceed with stage 3. Stage 3 Stage 3 is the step of pH measurement performed according to the USP791 section. We start with the calibration of the sensor in Lab Pure Pro ISM according to the Lab X method. 
It's a three-point segmented calibration with buffers 4.01, 7.00, and 9.21. Between each buffer, InMotion and PowerShower perform rinsing and draining. Once the calibration is done, LabX checks the condition of our pH electrode. If the slope is in the range of 90 to 110 percent, and the offset is plus or minus 20 mV, it means that the electrode meets the requirements of USP 6 or 5. If not, the system will stop the process, and the electrode should be switched to a new one. This is automatically controlled to avoid random errors. In our case, the electrode has a very good performance, so we can move to the measurement step. In order to adjust the ionic strength, 0.3 mL of 3 molar KCl is added to 100 mL of the previous sample. Now we can measure pH. This test should be done approximately 5 minutes after the end of stage 2, and as before, the temperature needs to be kept relatively constant at 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. To determine the pH value of that sample, we must be to the nearest 0.1 pH unit as directed in the pH chapter of USP 7, 9, 1. Lab X automatically compares the pH value to the conductivity value from the table. According to the conductivity value from stage 2, we expected a pH result of 6.9, but our value is 6.22, so we failed stage 3. With this, we have come to the end of conductivity measurement on automation mode. For more information check www.mt.com.